Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be a haul video. Now I bought a few things back at the start of December when it was Black Friday, Cyber Monday um, with all those sales. So I thought that I'd share with you guys today um, the things that I got then. And it seems like you guys enjoy my haul, so give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy. And let's just get straight into the video. I just want to point out my bun is looking massive today. And I don't know why, I don't know if it's because I just washed it, but let's just ignore that <laughs> for this video. So the first place I went to was Colourpop and I bought a few things off the website. I bought a blush, a few lipsticks and a lip liner. So yeah. So the first thing I got from Colourpop was a blush and this is the blush in Fox. It's a satin finish. It's a really dark pink colour and it's really, really beautiful. Um, it's really creamy, it applies really, really nicely. I like to use this either with my fingers, dab it on the cheekbones and then blend it in. Or I like to use it with a stippling brush and just stipple it onto my cheekbones. It leaves a really, really nice flush of colour. And yeah, I love this colour. I'll just give you a close up. See that? It's just a really dark pink. All the products that I talk about today I'll leave down below in the description box so you guys can go check them out for yourselves. And I'm going to roughly give you an estimate of how much they were. I can't exactly remember, but I think this was $5. I think they had sales on, so everything was a little bit cheaper. I also got a few of their liquid lipsticks. Um, I got another one, which is another pink, but I seem to have misplaced it right now. So that's really annoying. Um, but I'll talk about the two that I've got now. So this is the first lipstick. This is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Trap. It's a really nice beigey, nudie pink shade. Um, I saw Crispy talk about this on her channel, so I thought that I'd buy it for myself, and I love it. Um, I love wearing it with a really nude lip liner as well, so that's the colour trap. Now I had another ultra matte lipstick in the shade Shimmy, and it's a really, really bright baby pink, and I love the colour. Um, I've misplaced it at the moment, but if I do find it, I'll definitely do a tutorial using it, because it's a beautiful colour, and it's perfect for summer as well. And the last ultra matte lipstick that I got was this colour here. This is in the shade Avenue and it's a beautiful red. Um, it's kind of like a burgundy red and I wore this on Christmas and I think it's just a perfect festive um, Christmas colour. So I bought this one. And then I also bought one um, lip liner and this one is in the shade Skimpy. It's a nude lip liner and it's kind of like a dark nude. And I think the shade would be perfect to wear with the trap. Um, ultra matte lipstick and I also like mixing this lip liner with Honey Love. I just think it's a perfect combination and I love the formula of these. They are really creamy, they go on really really nicely and if you make a mistake they're really easy to remove as well. So I love this lip liner. And I'm pretty sure these were all five dollars. Now on to BH Cosmetics, I bought a few things from there. The first thing I bought was a lipstick and I already own two of these. They are from the Pop Art Collection and I got the shade Pop and I saw Shenexo um, a couple of months back do a swatch on this collection and I loved this colour. really, really nice orange, really light orange. Um, it's sort of like corally pinky as well. And I think it's perfect for the summer. I don't know if you guys can see that shade. I kind of did it on a really awkward angle. Um, but it's a perfect shade for summer and I'm going to get a lot of use out of this for the next couple of months since it is summer here in New Zealand at the moment. So I love these little lipsticks. I think they're about $4.50. They're really, really creamy, opaque, and yeah, I love them. I also got the brow crayon that I got a few months back when I did another haul. Um, this is an amazing brow crayon, especially for the price. I think it's about $3.50. And I got the shade Medium. It's just so, so thin, so it's really, really easy to get right into your hairs in your eyebrows and it also comes with a little spoolie on the end which I really really like so definitely love this brow pencil. Also from BH Cosmetics I got a brush set and this is the um, Blend and Sculpt brush set I believe and you get 10 brushes and these are amazing. They are really really soft and they are quite dense as well which I was surprised about because they were so cheap. I was expecting them to not be such good quality but they are amazing quality for the price. I think I got these for 15 or 16 dollars. Um, so I'm just going to go through the brushes now. So you get a foundation brush. This is a flat top, kind of like a kabuki brush. Um, it's really, really nice to apply powder and also to apply foundation. You also get like a large tapered brush, which I like to use for powder all over the face and also blush. You get a smaller version of that one. This is a small tapered brush and I like to use this to apply powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer. There's this brush here, which is quite a thin brush, and it's a dome shape. And I like to use this to um, apply contour 
or to blend out contour so I really like this and it's also nice to get right into the hairline um, with bronzer. There's this contour brush here which is amazing, really dense so it isn't going to be flimsy um, when you're applying cream or powder um, contour and I like to use it right in the cheekbones and also sometimes down the sides of my nose and yeah just around the hairline and around the perimeter of my face and it's just a really, really nice little brush. And then you also get five little brushes. So this one is a nose contour brush. I haven't used this yet um, because I don't really contour my nose, but it looks like a really interesting shape. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try this one out. You also get a little domed brush and I like to use this to blend out concealer. You also get a flat shader brush it looks like or a cat tongue brush, um, whatever you like to call them. And this is also good for concealer or I like to use this to apply my eye base with. And then you have this little domed brush here. It's a smaller version of the concealer one. And I like to use this to buff out the eyeshadow in my crease. And then I also have this little pointed one here. I like to use this to apply the shimmer in my inner corner. And it's also good to run color underneath your lash line. So all these brushes are really, really good quality. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. And then my favorite thing um, from BH Cosmetics and probably in this haul is this eyeshadow palette here. You probably can't see as it's very, very bright. Um, the lighting in my room is very bright. But it's the Kali Bybel um, 14 Color Eyeshadows and Highlighter Palette. This is amazing. It was sold out on the website for so, so long. And then when the sale came along, it came back into stock. So I'm so happy I picked it up. This is all the shades here and they are beautiful. So you get a mixture of shimmers and mattes for the eyeshadows. And then we've got the four... Um, highlighters down the bottom. They are all heavily pigmented and they are just beautiful. I'm going to create a few different eye locks with this. Keep so. an eye on my channel um, in the future when I do some tutorials using this palette because it's amazing. And I think this was between $10 and $15 I think. Um, so yeah, a really really good palette especially for the price. So that was everything from BH Cosmetics. Now onto MAC. I just got three things from MAC. I got a blush, a lip liner, and a lipstick. So the blush that I got was in the shade Malba, and it's a matte finish. It's a beautiful, light pinky, almost coral shade. I asked at the and counter what was a really nice natural color that you could wear every day, and the lady recommended this one. Um, she said it's very popular, so I picked it up because this is my first MAC blush that I own. So I'm really, really happy to start wearing this. As you guys know, I'm not really a blush person, but... I want to buy more blushes because then it'll make me wear more blushes and then hopefully I will fall in love with them. I also got a lip liner and this is in the shade Spice, a really, really nice dark nudie brown shade and I think this goes perfectly with Velvet Teddy or with Honey Love as well. I love the lip combo, that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, I outlined them with this and then I went in with Honey Love and Honey Love is the next thing that I'm going to be talking about from MAC. Um, I picked up another lipstick. I've got two Honey Loves now because I'm almost out of my first one. It's an awesome everyday nude colour. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It's really wearable and yeah, I love it. And now two things that I got from L'Oreal. I got the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Extra Black. And this is amazing. Um, I saw like Shani Grimmond and Carly Baibel talk about this all the time. Um, it's amazing at lengthening your lashes. But I find that it separates them a little bit too much if you have naturally really like full lashes this will be amazing for you but at the moment I feel like my lashes have been really really like sparse like there's gaps in them so when I use this it separates them too much so they look really like spidery which I'm not really about so if you guys like that look this is amazing but it does definitely lengthen them a lot like a lot and this is about $30 or something from farmers so yeah, a really, really good mascara. And then I also picked up another Brow Artist Plumper from L'Oreal. Um, this stuff is amazing. I like to use it on its own and on top of eyebrow pencils or like a shadow that I put in my eyebrows. It just sets them into place. And when you wear them alone, it just looks really, really natural. So this is in the shade Medium Dark. Now I got three random little things. Um, I don't know what to categorize them as, but I got a perfume, a dry shampoo, and a hairbrush. So this hairbrush is a Tangled Teaser hairbrush, and I love these. I like to brush my hair a lot. Um, I hate having knotty, messy hair, so this is perfect. It's really small, fits nicely in my hand, and it's easy to brush out all my knots, and when I've got wet hair as well. So I love this, and I love the color. It's like a hot, bright pink. I also got a dry shampoo. I always 
by this brand of dry shampoo because it's amazing. This is the Batiste dry shampoo in original and it just goes on really, really nicely. Blends into my hair, doesn't leave any streaky white marks and yeah, it's about $15 from Kmart. And I also picked up a perfume from Entertail. I picked up two, but I misplaced the other one. I honestly am losing my mind at the moment. Like I don't know where I'm putting everything and it's horrible. So this is um, the Lady Gaga one in Fame, I think it's called. Yeah, Fame and it's a black liquid, I believe. That's what it said on the package, but it's a really mature smell. I like to wear this at night time because it's kind of like a dark smell, if that makes sense. Um, it's a cute little bottle. I like the packaging and I got this from Entertail and I also got the Katy Perry um, purple cat one and I like to wear that every day. It's a really nice um, floral, just girly perfume. So I also got that one. Now on to a few clothes. I went to Glassons and Cotton On and I picked up a few things. So I went to Glassons and I picked up some shorts. This is the first pair. They kind of look like PJ shorts, um, but they are a really nice frill detailing at the bottom and they also have this blue and white pattern on them and I think they're really, really nice especially for summer. Um, I got these in an extra small and I think they are really, really pretty. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these in the hot weather. And I also picked up this pair of shorts. They are a baby blue color and they have like a raw hem at the top, not at the bottom. And they are like a really loose fitting shorts. They've got a little type at the front and they all these also look like pajama shorts. But I think they are really, really nice. I was going to buy the dark brown pair of these, but I thought that blue was perfect for summer. And I think wearing this with like a baggy top or a singlet would look really, really nice. So can't wait to get some use out of these. And from Glassons, I also picked up a bikini. So it's in this bronze kind of coppery brownie shade. Um, so this is the bikini top here, just a standard um, bikini top. And it just ties up at the top and also on the sides. And then I got... The matching bottoms, which just look like this. I got this in a size 8 type on the sides. They're like this really, really nice coppery bronze sh shade. I think it'll look really, really nice with a tan. So this set was about $20, I think, um, on sale. So I thought that I'd pick them up. But I find jeans that have rips don't really sit well on me. But these are a really, really nice pair. They have um, sort of like a brown stitching, which is a really, really cool detail. And they are high-waisted. So I love high-waisted jeans because I'm really, really short. So... They kind of make me look a little bit taller in some way. Um, but yeah, these were $20, I think. And I think they are perfect. They're really, really lightweight. So I think they'll be awesome if it's like an overcast day in summer. These are inside out and I can't be bothered turning them the other way because I'm lazy like that. Um, but these are just like a black pair of stretchy leggings that I can use to work out in or just to chill out, um, sleep in, I don't know. But yeah, I just picked up a black pair of leggings and these were $5, so why not? And I also got like a white singlet top. This has got like some ribbed, um, ribbed? I don't know if that's the word for it, but it's got like some stripes down the front of it and it's a high neck. I've already got makeup on it. I'm so terrible. Um, but yeah, I think this would look really, really nice tucked into some shorts or just really baggy with some shorts underneath. It kind of squishes my boobs a little bit. Um, I got it in a size small and I thought that would have been like a perfect size. Probably could have gone for a medium, um, but yeah, just a really, really casual white top. I also went to Hurricane Jeans and picked up a Stussy top. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, um, but it's just this crop top here. This is a really, really nice, um, loose, flowy crop top. It's in a size 10 because I want it to be a little bit bigger, but it's just a crop top and I like the colours, the navy blue and the white. Um, I love the colour navy blue, so I got this and it was for $40, but I knew the guy that worked there, he's like my dad's friend, so I got $6 off I think, so I think it was like $34, um, but yeah, I love this top, it really really well with high-waisted denim shorts. I also forgot I went to Factory and I picked up this crochet um, crop top, so this is just the front bit that goes like this, this goes around your head and then it just has like an open back, um, and I think it looks really really nice. With a tan especially and going to the beach and all that, this is really, really on trend for summer. Um, and this was $10 on sale, so I picked this up in a size small and I think it'll look really, really nice with some bikinis underneath as well. One more thing I forgot that I got was a eye mask from The Body Shop. We actually did a Secret Santa at work and 
the girl Katie who got me um, got me an eye mask and a scratchy so this is what it looks like I haven't used it yet you probably can't see it but it's pink and it helps with tired and puffy eyes so probably gonna use this on New Year's to be honest when I have no sleep at all and need to drive down to Taupo so this is gonna be awesome for that so I think that's everything I picked up I also picked up a pair of heels from Cotton On but I left them at my dad's house because I wore them on Christmas um, but they are just like a strappy um, like lace up heel I'll try to insert a photo if I can find them online or I'll leave them link down below so you guys can go check them out they are awesome they're just like a casual um, heel that you can wear with jeans a skirt dress anything really really classy and I think they're about $25 so I also got that so that is everything for this haul I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already I know I haven't been uploading recently because it's been Christmas and I've been working a lot and just been buying presents for my family and all that so I haven't had time to just sit down and talk with you guys um, but I really hope you guys had an awesome Christmas and if I don't talk to you before New Year's I really hope you guys have a great New Year and I will see you very soon. Bye!